Hey guys, even here, so the 212 prejudging. So, as I said, 2022 Mr. Olympia 212 prejudging is a wrap and this is your top 3 right here, most likely the winner Sean Clarida and on his sides Kamal El Gargni and Angel Calderon, all of these guys right here competed in open shows last year, Angel Calderon won I think Budapest uh, Fit Parade, Sean Clarida won Legion Sports Fest and Kamal Garni tried but failed uh, to win Tampa Pro and Texas but he was like in the top spots so all of these guys are battle tested in open division as well two of them could have done the open Mr. Olympia but they decided to do the 212 which I think is a, is a right decision I don't think they would do that well in the open they probably wouldn't be in top 10 I don't know, maybe Sean would sneak up there somehow, but Angel, no way, I don't think so. Without Derek Lansford in the division, I feel like Sean Glorida has done more than enough to reclaim his 212 Olympia title. And that is putting it mildly, if I was gonna be honest completely, I think he destroyed the lineup. I think he killed everybody, I think he looked absolutely ridiculous. I mean, look at the freaking hardness and the separation and the bubbliness, the 3D that he has, like, he's a mini Ronnie Coleman for sure. Both variations of his side tricep look absolutely crazy, man, right? Look at this, insane. From the front in the most muscular also, he was looking so incredible. Like on his little tiny frame, he packed so much muscle. It's ridiculous. He pretty much maxed out his muscularity. I don't think he could be any bigger with his frame. And I think he's done that from all angles, from the side, from the front and from the back. I think the back is probably his most... Uh, impressive body part the back itself but also the glutes his glutes are so ridiculous so uh, so separated his hamstrings as well and just the sheer muscularity on this guy it's absolutely insane so I think he is very dominant in this lineup as far as second and third I don't know about this. I felt like Keon should be up there. The caption that the admin of Bodybuilders Without Borders Instagram page wrote about Kamal Gargni, I feel like it's pretty accurate. It is something I would say as well. So he says that Kamal Gargni is overrated, except for his seniority. He is 51 after all, and we must respect that. But his right lat didn't open up. You're gonna see that in a second. And the hamstrings were definitely lacking from the back. And his torso is blocky. That's true. And Keon's waist, Keon's sweet taper is one of the best wee tapers in all categories if you ask me. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. Before we get to that, take a look at a left lat of Kamala Gargni. Something was wrong with it. And I remember similar thing happening to me when I competed at the World Championships this year. Uh, I was dehydrated and my lats were cramping and I couldn't open up in a lat spread. And I've seen it multiple times with bodybuilders. When they are dehydrated, they can't open their lats. Uh, same thing happened with Justin Rodriguez. Maybe you guys remember, I made a separate video just about about that a short video and I think the same thing right now is happening to Kamal Gargni take a look at his left lat it's not opened up not as as his right one and it's creating a asymmetry and also like his legs are pretty flat the outer head is kind of flat and his waistline is pretty blocky so overall I don't know I mean I don't really like his physique too much I know he's conditioned and uh, he's pretty big for a 212 but I just hope the judges will come to their senses until the finals and they will put Keon in that top three because, I mean, I hope they will appreciate the aesthetics, the lines, the symmetry, the balance, the, the, the physique of a statue of a Greek god that Keon Pearson possesses. And finally, he brought good conditioning. He is peeled, as you can see, he's really conditioned, he's dry. And on top of it all, he has the most amazing aesthetics, the most amazing genetics. Look at this freaking V taper. Take a look at this madness right here, look at the waist size, look at how much his lats are popping, I mean this is insane, this is not a freaking wee taper, this is a, a Y taper, I mean it's insane, a neck taper, I don't know, call it whatever you want, this is one of the most impressive tapers in bodybuilding period, in all divisions, in all categories, in all federations, whatever, like I haven't really seen this many times in my life, like in the history of bodybuilding also, there are a couple of guys that have a great V tapers, but this combination of small waist and wide shoulders and crazy popping lats, 
I don't know, I don't know, a shape, in my opinion, should be really awarded and appreciated, especially if muscularity is there and conditioning, and I think he did enough, I, I thought he was gonna be in that top three at least, in my opinion, he should be second. I think Sean is a little bit too much for him, even though Kion does have much better shape, I still feel like uh, Sean is like much harder, much more conditioned, much more muscular. Overall, as a bodybuilder, he is ahead, but I don't see Kamal Gargny and Angel Calderon beating Kion Pearson. I am not there physically, I can't really see what is happening. Uh, I guess the judges can see better, but based on all the high quality photos and videos, it really looks like... Kion is getting robbed right here. I mean, take a look at this. This is the shape pose. Compare all of these guys to Kion. Can you even compare them? I don't think it's even a comparison. Like, nobody here can stand next to him in terms of shape, proportions, symmetry, balance, aesthetics. I mean, he's killing all of these guys right here. I mean, compare Age of own in this pose to Kion. Come on. Come on, man. Compare Kamal. Like, where is Kamal? Look at Kamal's waistline. Look at the, how, how his legs are looking. Like, it's not even funny. I mean, it seems like the judges don't really care about shape. I mean, come on, what the hell is going on? This is not right. And it's not like Kion can't match these guys in terms of muscularity. Like, he's also very big, very massive, very round. Like, maybe Sean is better than him, but that's also arguable. Everybody else, I feel like Kion destroyed him. That's just my opinion, guys. You can tell me whatever you think down below in the comment section. I think Kion has done enough to be at least in that top three. And personally, I feel like something will change until the finals. I think he will sleep in that top three. If he is fourth, if he is fourth, I don't know what to say. I don't know. Maybe there's something wrong that we don't see. Maybe he has gyno or he has oil visible somewhere or something like that that we can't see in the videos and the photos. If that's the case, fine. But if it's not... I think he deserves to be in that top three. But whatever you guys think, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more videos like this about Mr. Olympia and all kinds of bodybuilding content, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.